Welcome to SpaMedica.com TV. My uh, name is Dr. Stephen Mulholland. Good to see all of you again. Our show today is on a very, very common and popular procedure, breast enhancement surgery or breast augmentation as it's commonly known. Breast augmentation has changed totally. We've had the advent of new cohesive gel or gummy bear type implants, uh, solid silicone gel that feel more natural, tend not to ripple and don't leak. Um, we've had the advent of uh, multiple approaches to putting implants in through the armpit with an endoscope, under the breast, multiple options. And we have the advent of shaped implants, teardrop implants and round implants with multiple projections and sizes. So how do we put it all together? Well, we help you. I help you make that decision in multiple ways. Number one, my 15 to 20 year experience doing the procedure. Number two, we use the Vectra 3D analysis system, a 3D camera system where you stand in front of that and we can show you the size of implant, the shape of implant uh, that works best for you. You get to pick off the shelf, if you will, using the 3D imager, the implant and the size and shape that works best for you. So let's take a look at one uh, young lady's story and see how she was able to achieve uh, balance and proportion again through breast augmentation. I just want to make my whole body look proportioned, fill up the breast area. In the market for breast implants, how new technology can help you decide before you invest in your chest. Awarded Best Newscast, the News Hour with Leslie Roberts and Ann Ruskowski. Well, just like any big investment, you want to know exactly what you're getting before you commit. And for women looking to enhance their assets, testing out the product was not an option. That is until now. And our Meanery shows us how technology is reshaping their decisions. You wouldn't buy a car without taking it for a test drive. How about a wedding dress straight off the rack? Most brides try on at least a few. Women will even sample red lipstick to see if it's a suitable match. Uh, this type of round. And yet, up until now, the try before you buy philosophy didn't apply to breast augmentation. 20% of breast augment patients that would be really happy they did it, but dissatisfied that the size doesn't quite match what they were thinking they wanted. Carrie Tench has been contemplating getting implants. Like many moms, her breast shrunk considerably after nursing her two kids. I just want to make my whole body look proportioned, fill up the breast area after having children. But she's been apprehensive up until now, worried the results would look obvious or overdone. Please hold for the flash. New 3D technology gets rid of the guesswork. Women get to see the predicted results before they go under the knife. A few clicks of the button, and this machine renders Carrie's chest in 3D. She can now demo various shapes and sizes virtually. Previous to this technology, a client would come in with magazine tear-outs to communicate the look they were after. They'd have to shove the implants into their bra or use the old rice-in-a-stocking method. But of course, none of this would resemble the real silhouette following the procedure. Round, teardrop, silicone, saline or mixed composition. They have 397 different options to choose from. And that's a bewildering array. If you leave it to your patient, they could never choose that. Imagine 397 dresses in your size. Carrie makes her selection and goes into surgery. Well, they're amazing. We caught up with that's her really three awesome. days post-op. I never would have guessed. Yeah, they look natural and real. They fill out the bra, they don't sag over the bra, they don't, the bra doesn't cut in. They really kind of look like what I remember them to look like when I was in my 20s. And I like to emphasize we are by no means endorsing breast augmentation. For the record, Carrie does not regret for a second nursing her babies. But for women who are contemplating this kind of surgery, this 3D imaging is very is revolutionary. Absolutely. And I can see that it's not just women who have lost volume because of having mm -hmm. a baby. I mean, breast change throughout life after Weight menopause, loss, menopause, yeah. uh, breast cancer. You know, these are these are very important elements to consider too. Absolutely, and especially if a woman loses a breast to a mastectomy after breast cancer, you know, she wants to make sure that um, the, the, the implant breast. she gets in reflects the other one, and the, sure. this kind of technology could really work that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. Thank you, Mina. You're welcome. What a nice result, and a very compelling before and after. Often after childbirth, weight loss, 
um, there's a deflation, a loss of volume in the breast, and restoring a nice natural upper pole fullness is what most women are looking for. And so the, v, the 3D uh, vector analysis machine helps me help you. It allows you to see within 5% the kind of contour and shape that you can achieve. It eliminates a lot of the uncertainty around what size and shape works best for you. So check out spamedica.com, uh, look under the breast augmentation section, uh, find out as much information as you need and come in and see me. I'm looking forward to help you achieve the balanced proportion, figure and form that you'd like to restore.